What's up you guys, I'm Dr. Nick. Thanks for clicking on this video. So I wanna know what everyone wants to see. I've been uploading a lot of videos and I have videos that range from ankle surgeries to foot surgery, bunion surgery, ingrown toenails, calluses. It seems like everyone wants to see callus removals and ingrown toenails for some reason, as opposed to the very interesting ankle surgeries I have and reconstructive surgeries and bunion surgeries, it seems like we're getting more attention for these obscure callus videos. So drop a comment below just to let me know what you'd like to see. It helps for me preparing these videos and putting things out for what everyone wants to see. And also make sure you click that like button and subscribe button and put your notifications on because I'm trying to upload as many videos as I can. So this one today is a callus that was infected. This is a diabetic patient who has been ignoring this wound for several months now. He's actually a patient that's on dialysis. He's younger too. Believe it or not, he's 38 years old, is on dialysis for having uncontrolled diabetes, and he's continuously getting these calluses due to increased pressure. He can't feel the ground, and he's ignoring them, and they're turning into wounds. So you can see we're removing this callus, and underneath it is a large ulcer and at times this has become infected we had to put them on antibiotics currently it's being controlled through periodic debridements or shaving of this callus but you can see he's on the verge of this turning infected and if it becomes infected it's going to require hospitalization and he could lose a toe or even half of his foot if, if that occurs so what we're doing here is just continuously removing this thick callus tissue because if we don't the bacteria collects under there that bacteria invades the healthy tissue and then that healthy tissue becomes infected and an abscess forms and then the abscess just keeps going through the foot and a deep space infection occurs and, and the only way you can treat that is by draining it bring them to the operating room draining the abscess and hoping that it doesn't infect the bone you can see that callus we're removing right underneath it that red tissue you're seeing is the dermal tissue so it's not even bleeding because it's been exposed for so long that the bleeding just stops and you have open tissue available so he has two of them and, and if you you notice they're going to the point that is the most pressure so the great toe joint gets a lot of pressure on the bottom of the foot so that's one of the wounds. And then if you look toward the side of his foot under his fifth metatarsal head or his pinky toe, that's where another ulcer is going. And these are just the areas where you see most of the pressure occurring. So I'm cleaning up the great toe one now, and you'll see we're going to move over to the one under his fifth metatarsal head or underneath the pinky toe there. So let's see, there's another one there. It's kind of like a tripod effect. You, you have three points of increased pressure to your foot, the heel, the great toe, and then the pinky toe area. And those three areas take most of the pressure. The heel usually won't ulcerate. You'll usually get ulcers beneath the fifth metatarsal head and the first metatarsal head as this patient did. And that bleeding is actually good. So when you see this, that's a good thing. So we'll treat this with topical antibiotic ointments and trying to offload these wounds with special shoes. So thanks again for watching this video. You can click on some of these other videos I have posted here. And again, I ask, please let me know what you want to see. I will do my best to upload videos that my subscribers are requesting. If there's anything you want to see, please drop it in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.